I turn the sounds on and instantly you're just cackling to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I read the stream title, that's why. <laughs> Voluntary reaction. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So yeah. How is everybody today? I'm Loomis. I am known by many names. <laughs> Mostly Narelon, but some also call me Narleon, the Narly one, which I quite like. <laughs> Nahilon, Narlon, Nerleon, Narleon, <laughs> and many others. I decided to go with what Lady Meow said and make that a thing now. <laughs> Seems fair to me. We are we doing some endless dungeon, or would you like to do something else? Uh, endless dungeon's fine by me. We still haven't found Wolf Iron, but let's do it. Let's get in there. We get fed up, quit in a rage. Yeah. <gasps> could, play, could play something less stressful with less toxic people, like League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> Should, I mean, do we need to? In case anyone's new, do we need to dramatically read the text? I mean, I know you want to, so I won't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> but what's my character? What's my motivation here? <laughs> well, I don't know. We've not met him yet. <laughs> <laughs> I... See, my instinct is to go for the ancestor from um, Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I, Paladin Rolf Ironwood, swore a sacred oath to clean this den of evil. I'm leaving these pages behind as a warning to anyone foolish enough to follow in my footsteps. <laughs> or I should say my interpretation of the ancestor. Yeah. Nope. 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 Ah, dang it. In time, you will know the true extent of my iron butt. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch, Dutch. Yeah. Yeet! Dodge, weave, parry! <laughs> <laughs> I took an unnecessary hit. I thought I could dodge. I dodged directly into a witch's fireball. I shouldn't have trusted you with that bean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again with the bean! Still not letting that go. That was like a short period of time ago. Oop. Do you want me to just Oop. throw in knife him? Uh, I'm gonna poison dart him, I think. Cool. You, uh, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. I mean, you can throw a knife him now Yata. if you want. <laughs> Yatta! Excuse me, good sir. Yeet. That was kind of funny. I hit him in the back of the head, he roared at me, and then dropped out from poison. <laughs> 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 Angry rage, and then feeblest death ever. A death by inches. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Who wants. What are you doing for gold, by the way? Because I don't want to just like, take it all. Okay, 18 gold. Oh, yeah, you stock up then. I've got a fair enough. Oh, okay. Hand tornado. Mm -hmm. It's just quite good. I mean, it's better than nothing. I'll take Got it if you don't want it. Yeah, sure. A lot of time I like it, but as the assassin, you want to be able to like duck in and weave in. You don't want to be getting too stuck in. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time, though. <laughs> Can I? I uh, what the potion? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I've got rum. Uh, who gets the magic book? I mean, it's decent on either of us. Do you want it? Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> I like the little like chocobo thing on the front. <laughs> Yeet. See, I feel I use magic more heavily than you, but I feel magic is actually stronger on the uh, small, fast-moving classes. When you get into yeah. a tough situation, you can just roll around and snipe at people. Yeah, I find like when I've been playing a lot of solo games because I have no friends. <laughs> um, I yeah, I, that's my my thing as the assassin. Get something that can hit people out of a direct line. Mm -hmm. And just spam them from a high place. Yeah. But yeah, Is I guess we both get good use out of it then. It's probably back ah, on you. It. I got ganked by a 
that skeleton from behind. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, I'm almost dead. No, don't kill me. No. I, I can't die with a. Uh, I can't die without drinking my rum. Okay, I'm f thoroughly drunk now. I'm ready for death. <laughs> <laughs> did, did things turn awry while I wasn't looking? <laughs> I took a few hits, yeah. Went, went south of me real fast. It's okay though, I'm drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> drunk as a lord. <laughs> Take that, <laughs> ancient dead. <laughs> Also, I like doing this. I tried to jump on there, but I fell over it. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, rummy. Hold on, I can't get through the door. Da! 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 With you kind of being drunk as well, that seems like the sort of thing they'd like just naturally try and attempt. <laughs> Seems like the sort of thing that would lead to accidents. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm player one. Yeah. Put it the other way around for <laughs> a change. And so my journey begins. Who knows what unspeakable horrors await me in this old ruined castle? Who knows how deep its dark underground would go? That's terrible, Rolf. <laughs> Dark underground what? Also, I think you meant Do you remember the ancient manor? Alphilent <laughs> and imperial Ah, damn it I was too busy doing voice acting and I've been hit <laughs> Like, terrible voice acting <laughs> oh, This I is do... not an advert for my skills I do love that the witches can fall If you knock them <laughs> If they're <laughs> spinning when you knock them off a cliff <laughs> I don't know Nope. <laughs> hmm. Yeet! That guy went flying! Yeet. I don't know how that worked, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I think that Marys did a yeet. <laughs> so in the interest of science, I tested my can tornado against their charge move. It didn't go well for me. Ah. I mean, it had to be tried. <laughs> Perhaps several times, you know, for the <laughs> falsifiability, etc. <gasps> Is that the banana skin? I mean, it looks like a banana. Well, it looks like a banana rather than a banana skin, but. <gasps> you can't wear shoes, right? Shall I draw attention to it? <laughs> uh, which 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 weapon would you prefer? Short sword, I guess. Cool. I'll take the, the butcher's knife. <laughs> 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 the golden magic banana. Have you had this before? Throw it's banana fantastic. peels on critical hit. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, people slip on them. So they want the highest crit possible, and people are falling over with that comedy. Whoop! <laughs> noise. <laughs> I mean, you've just picked up a crit weapon, so I think go for it. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, we can also slip on him. Okay, duly noted. <laughs> I say after having got it because I. Did <laughs> 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 that happened to me. That could have gone horribly wrong. I could have died. None of that. Nope, damn it. Whoop, this is already. Hey, Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have a child, apparently. Love about yeah, yeah. I guess this game doesn't have an well, it doesn't have any official modding community. I don't know if there's an unofficial one. Oh, there's hey, definitely how's it going? definitely stuff they could do here. Yeah, how's it going, dude? You settling into the new place? Ah, sorry. <laughs> I forgot that my jump explodes every ten seconds. <laughs> Sounds like the bizarrest horror movie of all time. Your jump explodes every ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Which the, the exploding jump thing works quite well with the assassin because it'll knock them flying. And if somebody's down, you can just do the old stabby stab. Yeah. Hey, Lady Meow. <laughs> hey, Lady Meow, how are you doing? My body is pain. You know the Maybe sensation. That should make me laugh as much as it does. What's wrong with me? Uh, how much money do you have, by the way? It's so occurring uh, to me that we should check what we want to buy before we uh, pick too much stuff up. True. I've got 66 gold. Heals on... F oh! Mm. See, burns the ground around you, immunity to fire is brilliant, but I've got the immunity explosions exploding shoes, which I think are probably better. Yeah. Both of these Ooh, are good. Nice. And good arm. Oh, rainbow arm is fantastic. Uh, Lady Meow's okay. She's waiting for dinner. You caved and ordered Indian food. What are you having? Is it a Vindaloo? Okay, I don't know much about Indian food. Is Vindaloo. It is it Kedgeri? Are you eating Kedgeri? That's a thing that exists. Is it a Masala? Ooh. Is is it Peswari? Nah, I think you're just showing off now. <laughs> I think I think that's why it's actually a kind of non bread, so they, she probably wouldn't be having that on her own, on its own. Uh, I, I believe it has coconut in it. Yeah, I think that's the one. Is that the one that Asmoth is trying to persuade me to eat? Probably. If assuming I'm assuming that it, it the thing I'm thinking of is called Peswari, and Peswari is not like a, I don't know, something else. Then yeah, he loves that stuff. And be fair, it is really good. Como is Peswari Naan. Uh. And Paneer. Ooh, that's cheese. Sorry, I accidentally <laughs> unplugged my headphones while trying to untangle <laughs> the wire. I don't know if just before it cut off you heard the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we heard a, a faint scream and then everything went silent on your end. I paid it no mind. <laughs> uh, so, you all know, yeah. Lady Mia, is Peshwari Naan the the um, coconut naan bread thing that Asmoth was trying to persuade me to have at Loomis's 30th. I think it is. It's quite sweet. It's, it is good. I've, I've, I've tried that one. It's nice. Is Paneer akin to Halloumi? That's what somebody It is ours. Yeah. Sort of and yeah, Paneer is akin to Halloumi, right? Yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. It's a chewy kind of cheese. It's quite good. Korma is a nice curry anyway, says mm -hmm. Spurs. I've never had a curry, that's true. Karma's one of the mild ones. Yeah. I can't handle spicy stuff in the slightest, but... <laughs> no, with my, with my digestion as it is, being an old man, um, <laughs> I just avoid it on the <laughs> because I don't know what effect it'd have. Yeah. There's a uh, really nice place not far from where where I live that we've been to a couple of times. I say, I'm not really into... I'm not into spicy stuff, I'm not into... Curries in general, but I've tried some of the, you know, the the mild ones, which which karma is karma is a very mild one, and uh, yeah, it, all the stuff they do there is really nice, and the mild stuff is genuinely mild. Like you, you don't taste any spice in it. Is that the Nepalese place? Uh, yeah, that's the one. Uh, why not Nair? Says Burzum. Um, yeah, um, any th any a lot well a lot of spices uh, really upset me. Um, even stuff like nutmeg it's, uh, does me a terrible mischief. <laughs> to sound again like an old man, um, <laughs> so I just I just avoid it. Also, we should probably buy some. Yeah, well I can afford uh, one of these. I imagine you can afford one of these. Do you have a preference? Um, both are great. Um, I mean. Uh, Ah, I'm doing explosions, not burnings. A great stack would be the heels on fire and the salamander zone. You can't do that. <laughs> um, rainbow armor I love, but are you more likely to be tanking hits than I am? I should really be building for evasion, right? Yeah, I suppose. If I get the uh, the rainbow armor and you get the poisoning and burning, so you can focus on getting that effect onto enemies. Yeah. Alright. I want to curry so bad now, I'll have one in your honor, dude. Oh, thanks, Burzum. 
He just had uh, Besom just had Telia Telly with salmon, courtesy of Sass, and it was awesome. Great. Mm. I had uh, cheese and tomato pizza and some chips. I mean, mam and dad. Rolls. Yeah, I did have Thai curry rolls there. Uh, I had some reasonably spicy uh, Japanese food as well, I think. I can't remember what I actually had. I think it might have been a... a I think it was ramen. It was quite spicy. I mean... I think both were a little spicier than I'd like, but they were... They were they ta did taste really good. Ooh, I'm getting destroyed. That just gave me that arm. It. I have to not let you live it down ever. <laughs> yeah, but you see, this armor Jeez. protects me against uh, elemental effects. It's not protection against edged weapons or anything like that. <laughs> Immunity to edged weapons. <laughs> oh. I better be careful about approaching barrels just in case I accidentally jump and set everything. <laughs> 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 Sorry, what is up with me today? <laughs> I'm laughing like a kid every time somebody slips on a banana skin. <laughs> Come on, Norella, and you're classier than that. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to, to slowly eat more spicy stuff to try and get used to it. Because it often does taste quite nice, but I, my body can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> black, black pepper I'm fine with. Mm. Which I know is not super spicy, but some people have a bit of an issue with it. Anything else, though, I, I can't. I can't even. A world with no pizza, and then one day you get served a pizza. Oof. Is that... Is that why I like curry when I try it, or...? Or are you saying that, uh, you know, if I had pizza when I wasn't used to it, it would destroy me, just like the curry does? Do you want that food, by the way? Because I'm on more health than you, I think. Yeah, sounds good. I'll say you're ready. <laughs> 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 you, it does stack as well, so you can like, skitter over several. <laughs> Which is hilarious when, you know, you, you're just not getting you killed. That's an independent thought. Okay. Is pizza that exotic? I mean, you can get it I in mean, most places. I mean, it's common now, but it wasn't once, you know. I mean, it's this ingredient. Oh, yeah. Basically from America. Like, tomatoes <laughs> are from America, right? Yeah, I mean, when it's... Yeah. Uh, Historically Italian food and the ingredients are found in the Americas, you have to assume it's quite recent. And as well, um, mozzarella. It's properly made with milk from buffalo. Not the mm. American bison. But, you know, water buffalo. <laughs> so when you think about it, it really is kind of a cosmopolitan dish, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, do you want these bombs? Uh, I've still got one poison dart. I guess I take a poison dart over three bombs. <laughs> poison darts are easily the best. Oh. The situation's like this. Oh, nope, nope. That went wrong. Have a bomb. Mm -hmm. I accidentally ran into his attack, which is stupid. But he died of poison, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was very silly of me. I just ran it. <laughs> Dang it. Come here. <laughs> Oop. Oh, oh, you turned invisible. You tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, accidentally. <laughs> Candles at each other. You accidentally started picking a lock and then got Im impaled by a spike. This is how people lose eyes. <laughs> this is how accidents happen. Oop. Okay, Kate, okay, settle down. People are getting hurt. Man, there was nothing worth in it to end that. He took like five hits for that thing. But yeah, the, these days I think pieces are 
Man, is it like the most universal food? You'd think so. There's an interesting thing I read um, uh, about uh, fast food in America. Mm -hmm. That pizza is um, not very, you know, it's like hugely popular amongst most people. But amongst certain ethnic groups, it's not too popular because they have higher rates of um, lactose intolerance. Yeah, fair enough. Um, which is why there exists like certain stereotypes about certain people that eat certain kinds of food, simply because it's a lactose intolerance thing. But otherwise, pizza is hugely popular. <laughs> but this topic now is to a dangerous thing: not ethnic groups and food, but the fact that me and you disagree on pizza. <laughs> I mean, it's true, I, I kind of prefer, you know, real pizza with... <laughs> You're more into this, this knockoff kind of stuff. I do like American pizza. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. So, you know, I, I've, I've visited Italy, I've tried, you know, the, the original style of pizza, the, uh, the thin crust, the, you know, the, the, the emphasis on the toppings, the delicate flavors, you know, Real pizza, it, it's a more eloquent taste. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the orb? Yeah, I've got the spinny thing if you want the orb. Be sure. Yeah. I don't think you'll get much use out of the spinny thing, so. Nah, especially not with a short weapon like I've got now. Oop. Oh, there we go. Oh, no! <laughs> No, I used to prefer the American pizza when I was younger. I'm not sure exactly where I swapped when I swapped over or why, but these days if I eat American style pizza, I mean it's it's just so thick. All I taste is the dough. I want my pizza to be mostly toppings. That's where the flavor is. Oop. <laughs> True. Uh, no, it's, uh, actually, I mean, I make this point about oh we disagree. But actually, I, I get entirely a point. <laughs> it's like me and you at the pictures. Like you point out all sorts of things that. Are, Kind of didn't object to, but I don't disagree with you. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I know you I don't disagree with your own comment. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Same with pizza, like, I entirely get it. By preference, I like the, the American style. Yeah. In some ways, it's kind of a really lame reason. Hmm. I find it easier to court. Yep. I, I can kind of see that. I went to uh, years ago. No, oh, I don't need to be falling on a banana right now. <laughs> Not when the thing's spitting poison. Ah, dang it, I looked at chat. <laughs> Foolish. Oh. I need to get that rainbow out. I don't even get that food I so desperately need. Oh, oh no! I'm Oh, I need to drink this potion, but I need to buy myself some time first. No! It, you exploded ah. me! Ah. Uh oh. I couldn't get enough time to drink the potion. Died with a, a potion in hand. Rough times. Yeah. I was just trying to get enough space to uh, <laughs> drink it. I mean, I can aggro these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I do love seeing you just come spinning past like that. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I tried to get into the into the middle of it and uh, distract them for you, but uh, somebody jumped in the air and exploded and knocked me away. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> but yeah, what I was gonna say is years ago. Um, I went to see me and mum and dad had gone away for a few days for their anniversary uh, to Stratford upon Avon, uh, and I went to join them for a day because I was we we're going to see um, Hamlet at the Royal Shakespeare Company. Yeah, very classy, you see. <laughs> and um, <laughs> while we were there, we went to an Italian restaurant. I mean, it's a chain, but still, it's still an Italian restaurant. Yeah. And um, the pizza was really nice, but by did I have trouble cutting it. 
<laughs> you need like I'm a stick. Oh, I'm gonna die. Please don't. I need five souls. <laughs> and I had that pig in big potion as well. <laughs> Trying to aggro these guys. Oh, good idea. Oof. The iron armor. Yeah. This is not good terrain to be fighting in. Uh oh. No, like stuff like this kills an assassin. Yeah. Because you need the space to operate. Oh, I'm just getting. Four more. Nope, there I go. It's okay, it was a warm up run. Warm up run. <laughs> yeah, just a warm up run. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like my. Uh, I'm gonna do the Italian style feet, so I do like it just a little bit soft, so it's easier to cut. Yeah. Some places they do it. It's probably more the proper Italian style, maybe. They do it kind of crispy and it's, it doesn't cut so well. When you think about it, that's a pretty lame complaint, isn't it? Found it too hard to cut. Yeah. This food is too difficult. <laughs> it's a health potion here. Ooh, there. Thank you. Yeah, are you one of the, uh, the blasphemous heretics like me who prefers to eat pizza with a knife and fork? Is there is there a different way to eat it? I think most people cut it into slices and eat them by hand. Oh, I do it sometimes, it depends. <laughs> yeah. It depends what I'm doing. Uh, like the pizza I had today, I ate by hand. Because it comes <laughs> in slices, like comes in segments already. Yeah, if it's already segmented, if I'm feeling lazy, or if I'm out in company and I don't know how they'll react. And then I'll, uh, I'll eat it in the traditional way, but I found it tends to taste better to me if I eat it with a knife and fork. Maybe it's just because I'm yeah. savoring it more instead of just cramming a wedge in. Yeah, <laughs> just folding it in half and just swallowing it. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Let me try again. Do I adopt a different character this time, or do I just go again with the ancestor? I think you just got to trust yourself on that one. you got to find that role within yourself. It's the taste of civility, says Lady Meow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's being civilized. It's not just like eating with your hands like a peasant. <laughs> it's... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. I, Paladin Rolf Ironwood, swore a sacred oath to cleanse this den of evil. I am leaving these pages behind as a warning to anyone foolish enough to follow in my footsteps. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. I've been playing um, Total War Warhammer, uh, and I decided to play as one of the Bretonian factions. Yeah. Um, and apart from humming the tune to When a Knight Won His Spurs to Myself All the Time, it got me <laughs> thinking about that kind of thing. Hmm. You know, paladins, cleansing dens of evil, that kind of stuff. <gasps> Seems fair. Uh, that was a I'll good. definitely lose half my health for that. <laughs> Go that for it, I mean, it's up to you. I don't know if you can wear them. I honestly don't know if I can wear those or not. Oh, um, hey guys, who wants half an uninteresting? <laughs> who wants half an uninteresting on this day fact? <laughs> oh, I do. Heck yeah. So can I can I have the socks? Because I was saying, you know, assassins are really limited by spikes and stuff. Because you need to be constantly on the move. Yeah, yeah, it's go for big it. Big help if that's all right. No. <laughs> Actually, I might chug this potion and go back for that other one. Makes sense. I'll rejoin you shortly. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will take all this money. <laughs> Back. <laughs> and only 11 hit points yeah. down. Hmm. Very nice. Cool. So absolutely do a trade up in the long run. Yeah. For the Kramar's woolly socks. <laughs> I didn't bother remembering the details, like the place or the year. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit by a bat. I got hit by a bat. I was looking at the chat. 
Ah, no! Pig and bats, no! I ate bats, I'm gonna lie. I have to drink another pig and potion already. You can see why they terrify criminals so much. <laughs> nope. Ooh. On one of the days this week, in Mexico or somewhere like Mexico, they <laughs> <laughs> One of the leading universities was uh, founded or opened or held an event of some sort. I think perhaps they had an open day? <laughs> <laughs> we know it wasn't the leading university in Mexico. So we, we've narrowed it down to just every other university in Mexico. That, that's a good one, Lady Meow. <laughs> that was exactly as you promised as well. You certainly mm -hmm. didn't, you know, over or undersell it. <laughs> yeah, when. Oh wow, that's a lot of witches. When Lady Meow promises you a fact, she delivers. Promises you half of a fact, she delivers exactly that. Half of an un uninteresting fact as well. Yeah. Come rain or shine, a half of an uninteresting fact will get through. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Brexit is just the latest in a long list of leading events that didn't happen on the 29th of March. <laughs> 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 Nicely said. You see protests everywhere about people wanting, people saying, you know, we need to re-vote on Brexit. People don't, nobody wants it. The politicians aren't listening to what the people want. And I feel like people are forgetting the fact that it was a majority vote by everybody that got it through in the first place. I'll just do my next bit of reading and then we'll discuss further. I'm trying to get my characters to look like they're actually stood with their foot on the pedestal, studying it carefully. <laughs> <clears throat> and so my journey begins. Who knows what unspeakable horrors await me in this old, ruined castle? Who knows how deep its dark underground dungeons go? <laughs> ah, <I. laughs> Drink politics. Can't Can't pie. Pie. I mean, it's. Yeah. yeah. What is it, 51% to 49% of the electorate went for? Yeah. So, I mean, it's close, and uh, we were lied to a lot. I mean, what's new in an election, I guess? <laughs> I don't feel particularly lied to. I think the horrible mess that's happening is exactly what I expected to happen, but. <laughs> oh, I mean, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> um, they certainly made a lot of false promises, though. The. Uh, dang it, the Leave campaign is. Yeah. It probably would have been sensible for there to be a, a condition that if the vote's within a certain degree of closeness, we'd have a second vote once the deal was agreed. But uh, that's yeah. that's not what happened. Oh, not in the slightest. It was just I mean, a joke. I didn't want you to discuss Brexit. Here, let me change the subject. <laughs> you know, all, all I'd say is that I am very anti-Brexit, but I'm very uncomfortable with the idea of just continuing to hold votes until you get the result that you want. Tomorrow marks the anniversary of the first time anaesthetic was used in surgery or something. Excellent. You, you anaesthetic was used in surgery or something else, maybe recreationally? It's hard to I say. Mean, <laughs> like the discovery of anaesthetics was an accident, right? <laughs> I don't know, I checked that out as quick as possible. <laughs> just to get us off Brexit. Can I please have this potion because I'm nearly dead? Uh, yeah, I've, got, I've still got my rum. Don't worry about oh, me. Excellent. I've just been tanking hits for no reason. <laughs> I remember anaesthetic. <laughs> for any American viewers, the anaesthetic is the British term for anesthesiology. It was in the 1800s. It was. Um, yeah, I mean, I think anaesthetic itself is still the same between British and English, but like, an, an, over here we call a doctor specializing in that an anaesthetist, whereas they would call it an anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist, yeah. yeah. Hey, look, Victorian. Let's talk about them. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, because like the the discovery of anaesthetic was just a group of like fellas hanging around in one of them's kitchen, testing substances to see what they did, weren't it? To see if there were any medical use to them. Yeah. When they all came to, they were like, "Hold on, this could mm. work." <laughs> yeah. Uh, which do you want, Cleaver or Gladius? 
I'd rather have the Gladius. Sure, I'll just leave it. <laughs> Do you want the armor? Uh, I mean, if you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. I got the bigger health bar. Another treasure chest? Suspicious. You still got your raw market and mountain dew. <laughs> <coughs> Finding the stuff is only the first step. Now it must be carried home. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get stuck on each other in the doorway? Uh, there was a table right in the doorway. <laughs> ah. Excuse me. You, you couldn't even see it behind the door, but there was a table there. That's what we got stuck on. Were they barricading us out? Is that what was happening there? <laughs> Maybe. They were hogging all the rum. <laughs> <laughs> this will not stand. Excuse me. I miss exploding every time I jump. Yeah. Not on top of the barrel of rum, though. <laughs> that would be a disaster. It's how when you hear about someone who was uh, had medicinal oxygen, but carried on smoking or whatever, and like blew themselves up. Yeah. I mean, it's terrible, but crackers. Not really anybody else you can blame about that one. <laughs> no, no. I don't know where. <gasps> yeah, all yours. Thank you. <laughs> I'm even smaller. Look at that. Wee. So ah, tiny. no. I have to say, I've, I've got the, really got the wrong weapon for this build. Yeah, because it's uh, quite short. <laughs> yeah, I've got a short weapon and I'm tiny. Yeah, I don't tend to find that the short weapons really pay off. No. I mean, it was better than what I'd got, but I'd much rather have it just a normal size. And long weapons are really rare in this game. Yeah, there's there's not many, is there? There's uh, like the barbarian starting weapon, and then there's like I've seen like one other long weapon. There's like the great sword or something, isn't there? In one of the yeah. axes, is quite long as well. Ah, uh, possibly. Yeah. I think it's kind of a, a long handled axe. More treasure. The game is being generous. But apart from the woolen socks, which came at a terrible cost, it's not given us anything spectacular yet. That's true. Most of these have contained uh, an elven cure and some coins. Yeah. I mean, appreciated, but yeah. not game changing. I mean, that's got a health potion. Mm -hmm. One of those random barrels. Again, no, mm -hmm. fantastic. We got the salamander's oil, which is great. Mm -hmm. Scroll of escape, situational but useful. Yeah. Yeah, man. Shall I take the all this time? Yeah, sure. I do tend to carry a lot of poison darts, maybe. Yeah, that's true. That was a waste of one of the. Uh, hits on my arm. Speaking of point. No! <laughs> so nimble, so elegant. You see the way he just leapt over that dart? <laughs> no one expects a giant to be so <laughs> graceful. No! You're putting the boot in while you slit his throat. <laughs> oh! I couldn't escape. I should have just done mm -hmm. this. Mushroom nope. man. Toadstool towers. 
there should if there's not, there should definitely be like a comic book villain called the or called or known as the Toadstool Terror. <laughs> yeah. The Toadstool Terror and his mushroom men. Exactly. I can imagine fight him fighting Adam West Batman. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can believe that. <laughs> he's not real in a way. He's not really kind of Batman as such, but he's definitely my favorite Batman. <laughs> Fungus fellas, exactly. Yeah. Oop, I'm in the wrong place. This place is no better. Yeet! Nope. Nope. The mushroom men and the fungus fatal. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dang it. Ah, dang it. I'm entrapped in an enclosed space with a lot of people with shields. <laughs> Under the constant threat of the. Ah, dang it! Fire. Oh, the fire doesn't use one of my. Uh, Uses of armor. Ah, I get. Yeah, I guess you're, so you're immune to it. That makes sense. Got him. <laughs> the guy just walked into the fire. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, they got shields. Oh no. Yeah, I was thinking of um, early anesthetic. Well, this is not technically on top of early anesthetic, so there's kind of early surgery. You know when people say how if you know if they went back in time you couldn't really change anything because you don't know how to you don't know how to build a car or anything like that, right? Yeah. I kind of think that they're thinking both far too small and far too big. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I think I know where you're going with this. Just if you get started back in time, teach surgeons to uh, clean their, their hands, their instruments, and their operating theatres with boiling water and alcohol. S yeah. Super simple to do, really cheap to accomplish, and will save thousands and thousands of lives. Exactly. <laughs> so the thing is, like, some people suggested it, didn't they, quite early on? Mm -hmm. And then like, the leading surgeons were like, nah, it's fine. Yeah. So that's definitely the thing that I'd be pushing for. Yeah, because it's such a like an easy thing, and it's so obvious as well. Mm -hmm. And yet, it's so massive. And even today, we don't quite get don't get it right a lot of times. Yeah. Like, you know, I know that some things are very hard to avoid, like hospital acquired infections and stuff, like hospital acquired pneumonia. Well, just proper cleanliness, like it's not hard. <laughs> yeah. Who wants? Shall we? Yeah, shall I go for it or? Yeah, I'll provide some light for you while you do it. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for all also that light, that helped a lot. You're welcome. Also, I don't mean stereotype, but you are yourself a demon. <laughs> I mean, why, why would that be stereotyping? Are you trying to? S are you suggesting that being a demon is uh, is a bad thing? Or? Yeah, I just think it's oh, a demonic chest. Got the demon to open. Ah, damn it, I lost my armor. Oh, nope, nope. Time to get real drunk real fast. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. That's my, nope. That's nope. my secret. I'm always drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, nope. It's not good for me. It's not good for me. <laughs> uh, there's a burger over here if you can get to it. There's also some armor. I don't know what it does, but. There's a health potion right in the middle of the room. Also, I'm carrying one. Okay. Which I should probably use! Oh, okay. Can't roll in a straight line. <laughs> That's when you know you're drunk. <laughs> yeah. All I'm trying to do is, is fall sideways and I can't get can't even get it to go. I wish I had a range weapon right now. Pretty sweet. That ogre is uh, not doing any of us any favors. No, no, no. Caught between two range guys. Oop. 
I was hoping to yeet that guy into the ogre opening way. That's rainbow armor. Nah. Useful, but not what we want right now. Mm -hmm. That's the armor we deserve, but not the armor we need right now. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'll turn to this, squash a butterfly, and see what happens. Exactly, that's another great use of time travel. Health potion and a small health potion. Will the big health potion overheal you? Uh, yes. I'll take the big one then. That's small. One. I imagine we're both. Actually, I've got regeneration going, haven't I? I probably yeah. Need this. I'm gonna use mine though. I think I got the last magic book, did I, or was that last round? That, that might round. have been last round. Neither of us have got any magic items so far. <laughs> you dodged <laughs> my... Uh, <laughs> Theron Candelabra. I'll, so, I'll grab it this time, I guess. I think most of this stuff is yours. Thank you. Rainbow armor, force jam, longsword. Mm. It's one of the long weapons we talked about. Is it actually... Yeah, it is actually longer. Like, a little bit. Can I have some? Yeah, go for it. It does the same damage as my uh, Gladius, so... Can I have Force Gem? Yes. I've already got a familiar, so uh, now you've got now you've got something that can attack when you're dead. Thank you. <laughs> um, armor and a scroll of freeze. Uh, I've got a scroll. And then the armor's good on either of us. Who's more likely to get poisoned? <laughs> Sound fire. Ooh, you've got the... Uh, Got the, is it this one you got the socks? Uh, yes, it is. I think I'll take the armor then. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. So I might. I don't know what exactly what the socks protect you from, but they might protect you some, from some of the poison traps, the poison they, spikes. You don't trigger traps, and I know you don't trigger the crumbling bridge sections. Like you can just walk across them like it's fine. Yeah, probably like the uh, the fire grills as well. Yeah. And I think you can walk across. You know the spikes that pop up? You can walk across them for me. Oh, did you go for the laser eye? <laughs> I mean, it was here. Would you like it, or am I good? You're good. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking it's at so the. Uh, obvious, yeah, you're looking at the gooey pink giant eye clinging to my face, and like, no, you're good. You can have yeah, that one. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let's test it out, I guess. Yeah, I don't set off <laughs> any of these spikes. Cool. But yeah, squashing a butterfly wise, I think uh, probably my plan to bring modern medicine back in time and save countless lives will will also have an unpredictable effect on the timeline. So I may be getting the butterfly effect without actually killing a cute innocent animal. I mean, you could save the life of uh, US pre that US president who got assassinated. Not Lincoln, one of the others. Garfield? I forget. Yeah. Well, he got shot in the street, and um, he died not from poisoning, uh, sorry, not, from poison, not from the gunshot, but from like blood poisoning, because, like for example, the doctors kept sticking their fingers into the wound to see why it wouldn't heal. Hmm. Yeah. Do you not want all this gold? I mean, it's in the middle of spikes as well. Go ahead and grab it. This, this magnifying. Oh, can I carry? Yeah, I'll just carry you this magnifying elixir. Oh, is that a magnifying elixir? Yes, please. How do you drop it? Is it down? I think so. Here you go. Nice. I think this. <laughs> are you are you at full health? Because I think there's some food on the top left. Uh, I am. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. I yeeted the guy across the chasm. <laughs> yeah, amongst the countless numbers of people I'd save. <laughs> yeah. The guy uh, who shot the president when he was on trial argued that he hadn't killed the president, his doctors had. I mean, I feel like he still wouldn't want the uh, attempted murder charge, so... I mean, 
it, it didn't work as a defense. Yeah. Ooh, okay, I'm fine. Look, I can't move! <laughs> I was pinned <laughs> in the corner by your laser beam. Oh, does that affect you? It doesn't hurt me, but it, I can't cross it. Okay. I thought that was one of the few things that didn't have friendly fire. I guess you were too busy charging a laser. <laughs> There's uh, poison darts if you want to. Ooh, yes please. How much gold have you got by the way? Because I've been like hoarding. I've got 99 gold. Oh, this is all yours then. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. But yeah, I think go in your in the a travel back in time scenario, you have to focus on the, the little things that are really obvious to you but other people but people back then wouldn't know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a way to just have like such a massive impact without hardly yeah. any. I mean the the scientific method? If you think something yeah. may be the case, check whether it is or not. <laughs> yeah. Actually a really recent idea. Yeah, not enough to just kind of ah, logically deduce a thing. Actually check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of old... I mean, that's why it used to be called natural philosophy rather than science. Because you do it by sitting in a chair and just thinking a lot about the subject and deciding what made sense to you. In a lot of ancient Greece, in ancient Greek times, they really frowned on the idea of doing actual research, because uh, you know you, you couldn't truly understand a thing just by looking at it. You know, you had to contemplate its nature to really learn how it worked. Exactly. If you did, if you did actual research, if you went out and looked at the thing, took it apart. Test, did tests, then you are you are contaminating your research. You're opening yourself up to bias when you you should have just been sitting in a chair thinking about it. Exactly. <laughs> oh. I, the scene. I grabbed a, a rum. There's that big health potion in there now. If you want it. In which case. <laughs> yeah, that's how they ended up believing that. Uh, fire was made out of phlogiston that was hidden inside objects and when you burn them the uh, the phlogiston comes out logical but wrong yeah if if you're not bothering to test anything then i can see, i can see where it's the hypo hmm? sorry oh wait no it's not sorry i thought it was the one that gives, that doubles the amount of gold you pick up but it's not oh uh, okay yeah see Oof. three pieces of gold in every new room shall i grab it uh sure oof Hmm. Is it worth it? It put me down to 50 vitality. That's a difficult one. I don't think I'd take it for myself. No. But I work on speed, right? So this, I guess, would just be there to tank whatever hits a yeah. tank. And your health goes back up afterwards, right? Honestly, not sure. I th I think it does, but it's it's weird because you shouldn't be t whoops, <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be taking health damage while you've got armor. So that means that the minus vitality doesn't have an effect. Do you think it's just for flavor? Maybe. There we go. <laughs> My health bar is now tiny, like me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Flatterston's a perfectly valid hypothesis. Something that might occur to you to look into, but you know there was no evidence to support it, and they didn't really do anything to test it to see if it could be be figured out. Yeah, it's like Arist I think it was Aristotle uh, who said that flies, what maggots, were spawned by rotting meat. Yeah, they they used to believe that they just appeared inside meat. That that it was the rot itself that created uh, the various insects that fed up on it. But again, logical, like, you, you don't see where they come from. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, nah. 
probably not worth it. This, yeah. yeah, but you know, there's there's ways you could test that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's there's oh no. There's a degree to which there's some things you couldn't test in those days. Like, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure who, but some Romans theorized that disease might be caused by uh, creatures too small to see. <laughs> that were infect, you know, were somehow infecting you. Yeah. Like they couldn't prove that they were right, <laughs> 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 but they had no way to prove it, so the idea kind of got lost because it was just a, an idea someone threw out. Yeah. And it didn't get as much traction as the better known idea. Am I on the wall? No, I'm just <laughs> on the edge of the hitbox. Good breeding is all the support that is needed, says Lady Mia. <laughs> stop it! Exactly, Never. like if you're from the right. <laughs> stop, stop lasering me. <laughs> if you're from the, the right background, then obviously your ideas must have merit. <laughs> this is what I think of your demonic altar. <laughs> <laughs> right, who's getting a curse? Am I doing it? I was about to say, I don't know if I'm defiling the altar or offering myself as a sacrifice on it. <laughs> this is this where we're like, Behold the malignancy of the stars! <laughs> yeah. Great one, come from the great void! <laughs> Wreak your havoc upon the earth, let us be as specks of dust. Lady Mayo summons Stay Healthy Bot, who says drinking coffee can reduce the risk of depression, especially in women. And she said, Really? Uh, oh, really? Sounds plausible. Kind of use. I mean, it's used as a stimulant. That's one of the. Uh... I'm sure it's, it probably has only a very, very mild effect in that sense. But I can, I can believe that it does a little to help. Chocolate does too. Hmm. Probably for similar reasons. Maybe the really was about the especially in women part rather than the coffee part, I don't know. Which which was the what prompted the really, Lady Mia? <laughs> also, which one was just taking the curse? I interrupted that. Brawl play. Uh shall I get it? If you like. And I'll stay up here while it happens, see what happens. <laughs> curse beggar. Oops. That raises some interesting questions. Considering I have a pouch that gives me uh, three gold in each new room. Am I still going to get that gold? In which case this curse won't mess me up too much. Or am I going to get three rocks in each new room? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hope you can get three rocks that just spawn <laughs> next to you every time. That would be kind of hilarious. Have some bombs! Have more bombs. Come here, come here. Oh, we all missed it. Stand <laughs> still so I can rock you. <laughs> we were just pelting him with stones there. <laughs> Chocolate I can buy is an antidepressant. Yeah, it does. Um, it like slightly boosts serotonin. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was thinking more that both, both sugar and uh, caffeine are things that... I mean, they're stimulants. They amplify your system, keep you going. One of the main things with depression is that you feel like you can't do stuff. Yeah. I'm keeping their eye fixed on me, by the way, while you do your thing. Really? Cause it looks like you're hiding on a pillar out of the way while I do all the fighting. <laughs> Come down. <laughs> see what happens. I was kind of trying to split them in half. Yeah. Why don't Why don't you come down here and see what happens? <laughs> <laughs> I have 50 health and I'm tiny. <laughs> Alright, fine. Oop. Already tanked a load of hits to my arm. <laughs> well, they're gonna die of poison anyway in a moment. I've often wondered if the magical chocolate in Harry Potter is just, you know, regular chocolate. Laced with LSD. <laughs> Possibly, I mean, from what else we've seen of the wizarding worlds, just health, safety, politics, just everything it has going on. You know the thing that J.K. Rowling came up with about mm. how um, wizards of old didn't have toilets, they just magicked their waste somewhere else. <laughs> she actually said that. Yeah. Hmm. 
Not even got rid of it, just some... I, I do get three rocks in each room, by the way. <laughs> but just, just somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Yeet! I mean, they have a spell that destroys waste. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, she actually said it was vanished, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, she said that they would just do their business in the corner of the room and vanish it somewhere. Mm. I, think it's <laughs> I think it's regular chocolate. There's nothing to indicate it's not regular chocolate. <laughs> True. <laughs> so it's, it's basically just chocolate. That's, I mean, chocolate is kind of magical. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's she what said I'm suggesting. Vanished, which is the same as sending it somewhere else. Okay, True. yeah. Yeah, you're quite right. I, I believe in Harry Potter terminology, vanish is specifically the spell that you use for destroying waste. The the vanishing spell. Which is one of the, what I think is one of the most messed up parts of uh, of Harry Potter. There's there's a the lesson in which they learn the vanishing spell. I, last time I reread it, I I had to read that part like three times to make sure I wasn't wasn't hallucinating. So it's, it's in Transfiguration class, they're being taught the Vanishing spell, bear in mind this is a spell that destroys something utterly, and uh, is prim you're taught it primarily to use it to destroy waste, and we see it used to destroy like like clumps of paper and stuff, so it do definitely works perfectly fine on inanimate, non-biological materials. In the class they practice it on snails. The oh. people... The people who uh, do well move on to the larger objects of rats. And Hermione gets 10 points for Gryffindor because she obliterates a kitten. Is that a thing? What? That's an actual thing. What the actual hell, Professor McGonagall? What are you doing in your classes? What? <laughs> which, which, which Harry Potter? Which, which one is this? Philosopher's Stone? Don't pick up that gold. Yeah. Uh, I would guess third or fourth. Uh, okay. It, it's uh, a reasonably it, advanced spell. It's been a long time since I've, I've read the books. It's, it's not one of the early ones. Let me ask, I got the impression the vanishing spell just made things disappear. Yeah, I think you cast that spell and it's just gone forever. Oof. It's just like casting a sphere of, a sphere of oblivion. Yeah. Onto a kitten. Why? It's a spell what? for destroying waste products. It works perfectly fine on... You could be casting it on rocks. And just like... Stuff that you want to... Get yeah. rid of. Do you want these darts, by the way? I know you love your poison darts. Uh, I've currently got 20, 27 stones, so I'm mostly using those. <laughs> you interpret it yeah. as invisibility? I mean, we're told the spell is for getting rid of waste. Do wizards dispose of their waste by just turning it invisible? That's alarming in its heard, own way. I think I've heard someone say that online, actually. Hmm. Wait, so someone had that interpretation too. That wizards literally just made their waste disappear in the corner of the room, so it's still there. Yeah. But also, but that raises the further question of if the vanishing charm makes things invisible and is perf and is fine to use on living material, then they then everybody just knows this invisibility spell and doesn't make use of it. <laughs> which I mean, is no, I interpreted it as invisibility, which is why it's so disturbing they would turn their feces invisible. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, like. None of those possible outcomes of them not using toilets are good. Yeah, I gotta think the other ones unlikely though, because people would, if it was turning things invisible, then a it'd be being used for pranks, and b it'd be using over the actual invisibility spell, which is supposedly really hard to cast. That's true. I say it's been a long what? time. Like I, I don't know when I, when I reread them, but I mean I read the originals like <laughs> the early two thousands, late nineties. I guess it's why the installation of the bathrooms is still relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, this room's bad for me. This room's bad for me. This room's bad for everybody. Ah. I think the books mostly hold up, but 
you start to realize more that the Wizarding World is a horrible, horrible place, and you probably wouldn't want to live there even for the, all the benefits of magic. Yeah. Uh, poisonous Saber. Poisonous weapon, as it says. Not poisonous. Poisonous. Uh, I've got the oil, right? Please? Yep. Could you please? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with long sword. Mm -hmm. Ah. Betrayal. <laughs> Uh, there's okay. There's a coin in the corner. Wait. That's it. Well, yeah. Um, amongst the reasons that the Wizarding World is horrible in Hogwarts, the uh, you might get the food bombs. Yeah. You you notice bathrooms being relevant. Thing is, like, the prefects have access to bathrooms. There's I don't think there's any mention of there being like a bathroom in the common room or in the. Uh, student bedrooms. In oh, fact, it's specifically mentioned that there are uh, chamber parts in the uh, student rooms in the in Hogwarts. So, uh... Learn incredible magic powers? Have to use a chamber part. Mm. Would you? Yeah, no. I mean, is it meant to give it a kind of charm? Yes, I mean, we know we know that there are bathrooms throughout the place, but a lot of areas don't have access to one. I guess specifically the bedrooms. Isn't there something to do with Jimmy Riddle and the bathroom? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist that. <laughs> oh crap! I've dropped my controller. Um, I mean, I was the uh, laughing at my own cleverness. The entrance to uh, Salazar Slytherin's ancient and powerful chamber of secrets is hidden inside the third floor girl's bathroom. So that's that's a, that's a choice that one of the the founders of Hogwarts made. <laughs> um, what's the what's Voldemort's real name? Spoilers. What's uh, Voldemort's real name? Tom Bombadil. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Riddle is of course slang. For a wee. Um, <laughs> uh, so I couldn't resist bringing man that involves toilets referring to him <laughs> as Jimmy Rick. I think uh, the Harry Tom... Potter books have yeah. been vastly improved if the big villain's real name was Jimmy Riddle. <laughs> Fair. I think yeah. it's the juxtaposition of the whimsical magical world where things are alien and strange and the deeper, darker main story. Like Bertie Bart's beans. <laughs> Yeah. Which one do you think we're gonna get? I bet we get the poison one, seeing as we both have poison one. Yeah. It's probably gonna be poison. I'm fairly sure it does calculate which one is gonna be worse for us. So yeah, sh uh, quick, everybody watch me fire a cannon directly into an egg. <laughs> oh, hold on, I missed. I'm just gonna hit it with a sword <laughs> instead. No, I hope nobody was watching that. Oh, it's the fire dragon. Ah, dang it. Oh. You made me drop my thing. Is it because you have fire armor? Do you have fire armor? I've got fire. Uh, I've got everything armor, haven't I? I've got demon armor. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, poison one. Yeah, I poisoned another. Nah, Fight, practically over. We just need to get a few hits in on the middle one and then just not die. Uh, I'm just gonna stay up here if you don't mind. that's fair. I don't want to lose my demon armor. <laughs> Bertie Bats Beans, which I tried but, for the first time tonight and regretted. I saw people having them at work and they were like, is that the Harry Potter thing? <laughs> yes, it is. We're all three poisoned now. Yeah, so we just gotta wait nice. them out, really. So yeah, it's absolutely valid. I forgot about your know, needing to protect your demon armor. Yeah, it actually makes sense for you to stay up there. I need to stop picking up gold. So it's a bad habit. Do. Sounds like an interesting and entertaining game, guessing the flavor, says Lady Meow. Hmm. Yeah, do you actually get the really grim ones, though, like earwax and such? Because I would not play that game. I would not roll those dice. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the real world ones don't. I tried a uh, butter beer at the Harry Potter experience, although it's. Uh, I mean, in Harry Potter, butter beer is actually alcoholic. Oh yeah, I was going to say. That. <laughs> it's. It's stated to be really mild. Like children are allowed to drink in. Well, children are probably allowed to drink anything in the Harry Potter universe. None of the adults care. <laughs> But it's not noted that even that even a house elf has to drink a lot of it to get drunk. Go for it, dude. 
<gasps> First of all. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me now! You wanna grab all the gold so I don't accidentally pick it up? Oh yes please. First of all, second of all, golden banana. Third of all, bloodthirsty axe, pretty cool. And finally, <laughs> freedom giver! Got a decent magic item. Are you sure? Yeah, go for it. I am Captain America now! <laughs> you probably want the golden banana as well. Are you sure? Yeah, do I do either of us have crit items? Uh, the vitality is no, better on you. Okay, you're probably building for crit now then if we if we do see any. <laughs> Alright, see ya Lady Meow. Where are you going? Uh so the real ones do have vile flavours and Night Lady Meow. <laughs> do you I mean you've got you're building for poison, right? So shall I take the bloodthirsty axe? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Look at that sword I dropped. <laughs> it's bigger than me. Do you have a scroll? I've got a scroll of freeze. I'll take this over my existing scroll. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> the scroll of freeze is there for emergencies anyway. Yeah. But yeah, so even though Butter. So obviously, Harry Potter Butterbeer is alcoholic. The uh, stuff they were serving was not, so it's obviously not original recipe butterbeer. Also, it is t it was terrible. Was it really? It was like liquid sugar. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the path gets darker as I descend. The path gets darker as I descend deeper into the underground. The area ahead is full of traps and dangerous pits. I do not know if I will be able to traverse it. Yeah, the, the, the flavor was vaguely caramelly, but it was so sugary. It was that you, you took a sip and you could feel it rotting your teeth right down to the bone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Was it kind of like a liquid caramel? That's pretty much yeah. That's pretty much how it tasted. Because I like you know like um, Cadbury's dairy milk with caramel. Yeah. Bring in them sponsorships, please. <laughs> like I love that stuff and in Galaxy caramel too, which is a different kind of caramel. Mm. Also, bring in sponsorships, please. Um, <laughs> even if they, they don't have to pay us, they just send me some free chocolate. Um, and that's nice, but you know, and I can have a bar of it, no problem. Like one of the 120 gram bars, wherever they are. Yeah. But yeah, I get that if that was like solid caramel, <laughs> you wouldn't be having a good day. Yeah, I wouldn't be getting through too much of it. Oh, no, no! I'm survived. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to. I got caught by a bee man. Bees. So I can just run across these without any problem. Although I don't <laughs> want to stand in them in case you triggering them would hurt me. Yeah. I don't know if that if the episode of Vigante has come out yet, but we had an experience like that. Where I was immune to uh triggering things, but uh I discovered that I should not run out along a pit of spike traps immediately after somebody who wasn't immune to triggering them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Nope, I don't wanna be there, I don't wanna be there. Oh no 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 no! No! No. Hang in there, champ. I'm on my way. Ah, I got it. No, never mind. You got a reward. There's also a fruit here if you need it. Oh, you're actually at full health. Do you manage to chug a potion? Uh, I've still got the armor. Ah, okay. Do you want to get bigger? Oh, it's magnifying elixir. Yeah. Yeah, it's really. It's hilarity. Hmm? <laughs> 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 That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Now I can fire my laser safely because it'll go over your head. Watch out, I'm dropping bombs. I don't know where you are. Watch uh -oh. out, bombs! <laughs> don't drop them here! I've got nowhere to go! 
They were, they were a cluster of enemies. No, no. That was. I'm on a tiny platform. Oh, okay. I got kicked over a cliff. I'm afraid. I'm out. Lost my armor. Help. Don't worry, I shall not pass. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should probably act for myself. I lost my demon armor. My health's gone back up, which is nice, but. Oh, that's so good. I got pinned in the corner. Yeah. I'm back to just looking like Captain America instead of demonic Captain America. <laughs> I should probably act. I mean, I'm getting a few kills here. I'm not gonna get enough to revive me though, unless more spawn. What happened to that giant? I think he, uh. I don't know, did he catch fire? I kinda threw some bombs around and then flipped. He destroyed my armor. I dropped some bombs and ran. I never saw what happened to him. It'd be about your age now. <laughs> Yeah, I was hiding on a tiny platform between two fire spitting things surrounded by enemies and somebody dropped a whole bunch of bombs on me. Did you uh, and, uh, hmm? get caught by the bombs at all? That's the part that really annoys me. I, uh, I didn't get hit by the bombs. A skeleton ran up and kicked me off a cliff so I can't properly apportion blame in the way that I'd like. It's not happened in a while, and it may not happen. Fair enough. I'm um, seeing a lot of jumping puzzles up ahead. I hope you are confident <laughs> in your jumping skills. Can I find like a single enemy to push off a cliff so I can revive myself, please? That really... would be fantastic if you could. <laughs> okay, I got one. I got one. It should be good. Chicken here. man. <laughs> you can hear them. Uh, I'm, I'm watching the stream. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, right. I'm back, so uh, go ahead and make those jumps, I guess. Uh, first room down. <laughs> oh, that could have been terrible. kind of wish I could watch this, but... Uh... <laughs> I got to the end of um, the last jump and there were a barrel, so I hit it. Got a crit and spawned a banana skin. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it would have been the best death of all time. <laughs> I like how it's pitch black when I'm making these jumps. Yeah. Me, who's not really a platformer guy. <laughs> oh, this is fine, because there's a load of these crumbly bridges, but that doesn't affect me. I can't crumble crumbly bridges. <laughs> In retrospect, looking at where I am now, kind of wish I'd uh, killed one of the guys on the other side and spawned myself over there instead of oh. uh, killing the guy on this side. That probably would have been the call. Oh, I got this room at least. Pass it on. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to launch an attack on you. Yeah. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> just thought I'd like, stop by and see how you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how could there be enemies? <laughs> One of us has got to try it first, right? Yeah. Then we get that chest. <sighs> Do I no, try flying I... and hope my mana holds out? I mean, you've got double jump, haven't you? Is that not easier? Tell you what, let. Okay, never mind. Do I risk it? Uh, I, was gonna, I was about to say, let, maybe let me risk it, because if I fall down, then whoop, then you can get, reliably get across safely, whereas... Wouldn't it be hilarious if I threw this right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Grab the gold, leave the rum. <laughs> Is it worth going back for that bit of gold? I feel like it's not. 
It's a good chunk of it. Depends how confident you are. Potion, by the way, if you want it. Thanks, I've got one of the big ones. Not a big one, a standard size one. Okay. Yeah, I've got a, a normal health potion. <laughs> when yeah. you say normal, is it one of those things where, like, what a reasonably sized cup is actually a small? <laughs> Kinda. I hate those flaming skulls, by the way. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Best item ever. Yeah. When are we getting a? Uh, when are we getting a banana mutation? Um, what? Um, I mean, I can reliably get across that, no problem. Yeah. But I don't think... I think you got to run. It's going to be the ones that work on a delay, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'll do what I can from here. I'm not going over there until all the enemies are dealt with, so... Uh... That actually wasn't an ideal time for the Force Gem to strike. That knocked someone off the, off the feet, and then it knocked them back onto their feet. <laughs> Not ideal. You're trying to go for the assassination. We've got a bit of a banana patch going on up here as well, so. Run! Okay, there's a gold coin over there, by the way, but uh. Hey, you made it. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Didn't see that <laughs> banana. <laughs> <laughs> the one you don't see doesn't get you. <laughs> yeah. I've wooden legs, I'm especially vulnerable to bananas. No. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh. Hey, there's him. Hey, there's him, you back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still tittering like a school child about the whole <laughs> slipping up bananas thing. I can't hit the barrels. Are oh, you too tall? Yeah. Actually, quick. Let's do a quick test. Oh, may maybe not while you're holding that. Maybe put that down before I'm, while I'm testing things. Yeah. Yeah, I can no longer. You're now so much smaller than me that I can't hit you with my laser eyes. <laughs> <laughs> ah! In your everyday life, stumbling upon a room full of spikes would be quite stressful. Yeah, definitely. Could you imagine? Just yeah. about your business. And there's a room full of spikes. <laughs> I said I feel it would actually be easier to not hurt yourself on spikes in a uh, real life situation than it typically is in a game. Yeah. But but yeah, I can see where you're going with that. <laughs> yeah, small patch of spikes in the middle of the room. You'd, you'd always be just looking at those spikes. And... Yeah, you'd, you'd constantly be thinking, what if, wouldn't you? Like, what if I slip? What if I... Uh... Yeah, well, what if I slip on a banana peel? This happens. Mm. Oh no! So someone's getting some bombs. That's not like a terrorist threat it was. <laughs> oh man. I mean, alright, that's not what I was going for, I'll take it. So this is like an upgraded version of the other guys who You know, there's the others whose heads you, you cut off and they respawn themselves. These are like an upgraded version, aren't they, with the shells and the horns? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if they're like gold or what we decide. Um, part of the worry might be who put those there. <laughs> Dad, why are the spikes? To trap hedgehogs, son! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a weapon. I mean, Grand Vizier's terrifying transmutator is not worth it, is it? No, I think the sword is probably yours. I've got the poison blade, and it's a, it's another crit item. You don't actually have extra crit yet, but it stacks with stuff you've already got, right? Yeah. Um, 
So the bloodthirsty axe is great because you do. Is it like 200 damage once you've killed somebody or something awful like that? Quite possibly. I don't know. Uh, but this is fiery. Gives you immunity to explosions, which works for me because explosions. Yeah. And it explodes on a critical hit, and so I'd be spawning bananas and explosions on crits. <laughs> yeah, I think that's worth it. What were we thinking of? You've got the extra poison damage, right? I have, yeah. yeah. Shall I go for it? Yeah, go for it. And then when we get to the floor where we lose our weapons, I've still got a source of poison. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and you want the book because you you actually do magic damage. Yeah. I don't think your uh, your bombs were enough of magic damage. No, they're explosion damage, I think, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the absurd <laughs> size difference. It's brilliant. <laughs> so we're yeah, bloodthirsty yeah. axe. A kill makes it bloodthirsty. The next hit deal, deals massive damage. So you only get it like once, I guess, after each kill. So we'll go for yeah, the I feel like that's, that's too much work to proc. Yeah, I'll go for the reliable fire damage and the hilarity of explosions plus bananas. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, life in the Robotnik household. There's spikes everywhere. Oh no! Oh, oh no. Oh. Duck madness. Running right. fever. Uh, yeah, duck madness. I've got. Sorry, I've not got Duck Madness. I'm infected by you, is the thing. <laughs> I've got <laughs> Running Fever, Treasure Chest Phobia, and uh, I've also got a, a butt face, but uh, I've got something to cover that up, so. Uh. <laughs> I've got. Well, I'm horribly poisoned. Um, running Disease, Treasure Chest Phobia, Duck Madness. Alright, I can't get close enough to the thing. <clears throat> to work together. Place. I don't know if some critter bit me while I was resting, or if it's those foul fumes rising from the rotting corpses in the corridors. Corridors. But some poison weakened my body and blurred my mind. I must stay focused. <laughs> and this Blur is no fun. Blurred vision, ringing ears. Yes. The end approaches. I hope there's no pits. Oh no! I could do it not running around endlessly. No! I'm dying. Just don't mind this stuff. Does it still work? You just can't see what it is. Yeah, it still does the same stuff, you just don't know what it is. I had to use my big potion. <laughs> ah no! Yeah, I had to use my bomb. Which it. On close analysis, it was a good idea anyway, because you know it cures diseases. Oh, you lucky duck. <laughs> Wait, why am I avoiding those spikes? It's a good question. Yeah, I've got an elven cure or a rum, that'd be real nice. Well, I know I don't. Have, it's not like I could have given you the rum anyway, but uh, we w we won't know if we find an Elven cure or rum. Um. Oh yeah, maybe one of those um, tank uh, kegs. Yeah. Oh. oh no, I fell over the thing. Oh, this is not good. Ah no, the running madness is doing me in. Running madness, running disease. <laughs> you got that Olympic fever. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know if I'm into that beholder, but I'm entirely okay with it. <laughs> that one's poisoned, so I don't have to worry about that one. I don't have to worry about those guys. Turns out this fire demon is immune to my fire. Unpredictable situation. We couldn't really have planned for it. It contained ducks. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what I was hoping for when I opened that chest. 
Oh, wait, what? Oh, did it wear off? Don't mind this did. Okay, no, cool. Know. Like, you stepped through the door and soon I could tell what things were. <laughs> yeah, with And I was like, did it, did, it only ha did it only happen while I was in the same room as you? But no. The size difference between me and these guys is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just this guy do backflips. Uh, how's your health? Because I could do it. I am doing good. I've uh, got. Well, I, I'm still drunk, so I've got regen. <laughs> we should, yeah. should probably I go, go back, back for anything. Yeah, yeah like, back. we left tons of stuff while we had duck madness. So uh, health potion. So un unless you'd rather not go back until your running wears off, then I think we should go back and see what we left. I imagine most of it is rocks. Yeah. Partly because of the uh, cursed beggar. Yeah, it's just stones. There's stones everywhere. Yeah. I don't know if you, if you want to add to I get, like, uh, Yeah, I'll take them all. Three stone. I get three fresh stones in every room, okay? You think I'm not going to take advantage of this? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I mean, remember when you ha were taking time with those jumps and I was stood on one side of that pit with a bunch of enemies on the other? I was an artillery piece. <laughs> Putting some True. stones in the air. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> well, I've got one more room with treasure chest phobia, three more of running man, and 16 of poison. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of poison. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. I can't get through the door. Oh, this, oh no. Oh, I oh, don't no. like the look of this room. <gasps> oh no, that doesn't work on those guys. That was a mistake. Nope, is he the healy one or the poison one? I think he's the healy one. Is he, if he's got blood on his sword, he's healy. He's nearly down. Okay, so I just need to not not mess this up. Shockingly, I didn't mess it up. Nice. Also, good work in getting him that low so fast. Thanks, bombs. Lots of bombs. Uh, yeah, definitely a good use of them. <laughs> Sorry, I was slipping on banana skins because I couldn't stop running. <laughs> what do we got up there? Uh, Kraken's Idol. I mean, there's really no, no alternative, is there? I gotta take it. <laughs> It would be terrible on me. Yeah, yeah. I've just realised I can't mm -hmm. do my usual tactic of standing on top of a pillar. I just immediately run straight off. Ah. Oh yeah, how does Kraken's Idol combine with the uh, running fever? Ooh, you can always run right, I guess. Mm. I can see that being a problem. <coughs> it's actually, the right. it's actually sacks better with your crit build, but uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll go for it. Oh yeah, it gives you a boost to crit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Grab people! Grab people! And now a demon crab cyclops. <laughs> the Horrible fiend! The one thing that Big Boss fears. Two... Oh, this is a lot of... Wait, what just happened? Where were all these chests from? It's the vault. It's like a special room? Oh, you know, I had the vault before. I possibly have, but uh. Hope no. Hope is, is there a special gimmick here, or is it just that we got. It's just a really lucky room to get? It's just a room, like, with enemies and loads of chests. Yeah. Which I. Oh, wow, I didn't realize just how graphically those guys explode. Fairly visual, yeah. Chests! The vault! <laughs> says I guess this it's up to like me to open everything. Uh, if you don't mind. This feels like a pretty powerful run. We're not doing bad actually, uh, in terms yeah. of items. I'm not on good health because I can't stop running everywhere and I'm badly poisoned. Try and grab any gold that you can. Don't pick up any items yet though. Ooh, of course. Scroll. Yes. I mean, I might have that health potion though. That's okay. Right. Actually, I can do this stuff. I just gotta run into the side of it. What are you thinking more health-wise? <gasps> health and cure! Please. Alright. Oh, 
I can stand still again. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Look at that. that claw in your size looks brilliant. <laughs> I'll still oh yes. Uh, jumping potion. How'd they go for that? <laughs> what do we got here. <laughs> Leather armor, Leather wizard's armor. mace. Health potion. I might have the health potion and drink it if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Take because the jumping potion and drink that. I mean, we should wait until the after the trap floor, but. Swordmaster's belt. All weapons are fast. Not bad, but there are better belts. Do we want to transmogrify it and see what it gets us? I mean, I don't know if it will give us another belt or just another item. You normally get items from the same category. So you should, I mean, because you think you're the belt, so you get the one that's like a bonus against uh, monster, uh, big bosses, right? Yeah. Heck, it's probably uh, worth re-rolling it just on the chance of getting a paladin's belt. Yeah. And what else we got? The wizard's mace, spell damage plus 10, stun on crit. Not bad, but not as good as what I've got. Leather armor, which is fine. Yeah. It's probably, probably the least of the armors. Yeah, so I think we'll get something better on all four of these. So yeah. should I go ahead and use my scroll here? Yeah, let's do it. Might as well while we're in the vault. Um, oh, wow, okay. Didn't do what we thought it was going to do. <laughs> At all. Yeah, I guess... Uh, I guess when it changes something into something of the same type, boots, belt, and armor come into the same categories. It's worn yeah. items rather than armor. Oof. I wish I'd saved the Elven Cure, because this Toxic Elixir of Life is brilliant. An extra life, poison for 99 rooms. Yeah. I think worth carrying with us in case we come across Rome or whatever. Yeah, it makes sense. Protect this plate. You've got rainbow armor, right? Uh, yeah. So I guess that one's yours. Thank you. Heavy hammer, slow, stun and critical hit. You know, if I had taken the quick belt, that would be a real nice weapon. Oh, yeah. But hey. Uh, but hey, we couldn't have known these things. No. Um, not as good. I mean, it does more damage and stun on crit, but I need the quick speed and the fire and explosions, I think. Yeah. Sell off for lulls, take the uh, boots of acrobat. Because <laughs> <laughs> you never know, we might get to transmogrify them later. I mean, it's part. Have you not got any boots currently? I thought you picked some. They're just the basic ones. You might as well take them then. I like how they're winkle pickers. <laughs> Alright. And we press. Ooh, nice. Is that as nice as what I've got? But nice. Probably better for me than what I've got. Yeah. At least because it'll hit behind me. Yeah, that's true. And it doesn't leave you as a hideous cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> How high did I go? <laughs> is that just that small? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'm no longer, no longer a hideous cyclops. Now I'm a, a thunder demon crab. Nice. <laughs> I do like how the toxic elixir of life has eyes and mouth. And <laughs> yeah. Like it gnashes its teeth and looks around. <laughs> like, that's actually not a potion, is it? That's some kind of demon. Yeah, I would imagine so. No. <laughs> I'm rich as Croesus, by the way. I'm really open for the Wait. familiar shot. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Just skid into the path of the ball that drove. I'm tragically poor. Some would say, some would go as far as to say I'm cursed to be a beggar for all my days. Hmm. Some would say that. Not me, though. Some man. <laughs> oh, not good. Oh, not good. I came in here at the wrong time. Oh, no, no! I don't know where I am. Okay, I often feel that way. I poisoned the big guy. Oh. Slain the lich. Slipped on a banana. 
Did someone order some bombs? <laughs> Bomb appetite. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> You took a real opponent in there, didn't you? I did. I stepped into the room just as the uh, big guy was swinging a hammer. Presumably at you, but uh, at where I appeared. Hold on. Hold on. We're doing this backwards. Yeah? You're wearing the rainbow hammer. You could chug the toxic elixir of life whenever you want. I, yeah. That, that is a thing that I could do. I, is it worth doing it now when you're about to lose a life? Though? Try and get you some health back before we give it you. Hmm. Do you feel like you could... I mean, you're at full health, so you could probably reliably uh, revive me if I do die sometime soon. That's what I'm thinking, unless something goes spectacularly wrong. Yeah, hold on to it, and if we get into a panic situation, don't hesitate to chug it. Okay, cool. Oh, there I go. Oh. That was real fast. So, who here is weak to poison? I've got the best ghost <laughs> oh, no. weapon in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is going horribly wrong. I am the spirit of cheese. <laughs> but I'm not sure. The cheese doesn't actually poison them, does it? It just does poison damage. That's right, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> hey! <laughs> well, I'd say I cheesed that fight pretty well. <laughs> We talked about Batman villains earlier. Are you actually a Batman villain? <laughs> Can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> but I will say that that fight was a breeze. <laughs> you know I love a pawn. <laughs> How am I alive? Also, do you want the Tusk? Oh, probably a I good idea. Drop that. Ha! It's mine now. <laughs> no! <laughs> stop bullying me with your giant size. Look, <laughs> poison resisted. You know when you drank it, it looked like rum. Hmm. It didn't have the texture of the Tusk elixir of life. It looked like a bottle of rum. <laughs> All drinks turned to rum in my hands. <laughs> Don't call the curse of Midas. But... <laughs> a sailor's oh, blessing. Terrible. Could you imagine that as a curse, though? Like, it always turns into spirits, everything you drink. Yeah. Like, I mean, it wouldn't take you long to die, right? Yeah, if it still dehydrates you, then... Uh... And, like, maybe if it's Grog? Yeah, like, Grog would be okay, but... Uh, are you okay for health? Can I have this health, please? Yeah. I'm really missing that demon armor. Yeah, because, like, you die. Like, if you had a glass of water, like a decent sized glass of water, and it turned to rum, that'd do you a mischief. <laughs> yeah. And, like, to drink enough to not die of dehydration would be a crazy well, level of alcohol. I mean, oh, my. Well, it's not even like alcohol dehydrates you more. Yeah. You need you need yeah. enough water in your alcohol for the uh, to cancel to not just hydrate you but to cancel out the alcohol in it. True. I assume you're summoning enlightening that on account of my screen is shaking. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm mostly summoning it on account of the enemies, but uh. I'm glad I'm not poisoned by your cheese. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fairly rough. Also, I died before my jumping. Po I got my jumping potion. I think I was like one room short. Happens oh, every time. That is galling. Mm. Look at the size of bananas compared <laughs> to me. <before. laughs> <laughs> Um, what? 
The yeah. chest is on top of the uh, potions cabinet. Hold on. I can deal with this. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, stand clear because my crabs are uh... destroying it. Mm. Well, I'm on it. <laughs> Sometimes it explodes. <laughs> Fantastic voyage, here we come! <laughs> I'm starting to feel you may have a problem. <laughs> Shall I buy I mean, I've got vast wealth, I might as well. Have to. Yeah, I think so. If it turns out a holy water or something, be worth holding on to. Lose half your vitality, but gain massive regeneration. Yeah, mm. no. Mysterious potion! <laughs> Rum. Uh, it's shut up shop. Alright. Well, I, mean, I guess the rum's mine. Time. Worth trashing it, right? Yeah, from my distance. Be nice if I could hit, occasionally hit things with my cannon. Uh, I didn't Nothing. give anything. <laughs> I can't hit him, I'm too small! <laughs> Get you a long we weapon. Here at last you find the downside in my plan. <laughs> Have you reached a point where they can't hit you because their attacks go over your head? Not yet, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I've just died! Oh. What happened there? I wasn't looking at my health though, clearly. Mm. Um, I mean, this is, this has been quite a rough room. I take, I've had to chuck some more rum myself. There's a, a lot of them. There is, and I was, I was kind of pinned in the corner, because there were some archers who were stopping me, kind of leaving the corner, and then some bee men and what that. I don't know what yeah. that is. The big guys with the massive axes, whatever they are, vampires. Vampires, minions. Uh -oh. A lot of shirtless dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Too many shirtless dudes. Mm. Some would uh, say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Hey, I'm back. But just to appear with you wailing on me. <laughs> I don't know if it was your crabs or your poisonous aura that got. <laughs> I think it was outright poisoned. And toxic just stand as all heck. To the, uh, the pillar on the your side, the opposite side of the door, please. That's not to compare. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the less than the top of the first one. Hmm. I tower over the second. <laughs> I am easily double your height now. Oh, definitely. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> A shop! Shopkeep, sell me your finest goods. Let's have a look what we got. Icicle, cold weapon, freezes enemies in the room on kill. Icicle's mm. a good one. Like, I love this flaming sword I've got. But the fact that it freezes. Don't it freeze all the enemies in the room? I think so. If it does, that's ridiculously powerful. And, and a, but it's only on kill, but yeah. Yeah, it's uh, a real good one. Flying sandals. I mean, I would definitely take flying sandals. <laughs> Levitate over chasms. Yeah. It's better than what you've got, right? Yeah, because the ones I've got don't do anything. <laughs> Probably go for it, then. Uh, scroll of Dupin. I've already got a scroll. Yeah. And Theoretically very useful, but situational, I think. I, I'd, I'd probably buy it, but I'm two gold short of getting it. Uh, have you got a scroll right now? Yeah, you have, haven't you? Uh, no, I mean. No, no. You used it. Yeah. Do you want to hold on to a scroll of freeze then? Sure. So, I, oh, you can hold on to oh, this. I can, yeah. I'll buy everything, I think, because 
I love the sword of the pyromancer, but I think the ability to freeze multiple enemies when you kill somebody. Fair enough. I think you're not in a room like the last one we were in. Yeah, yeah, you've got I a good point. Know, I don't know if my assassination counts or not. But if it does... I would think it would. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Oh, look at that sword, I'm giving up though. A fire weapon as well. I feel like such a betrayal. <laughs> an ass potion. Ugh. Mm -hmm. That's oh. what he gave us as a bonus. Do you want the scroll of freeze? Sure. Uh, Alright, how do these compare? Mm. Oh, yeah, you do burning and uh, poison damage increase, isn't it, on yours? Yeah, I think this is better for me. Higher Please. damage. I know it's not poisoning, but. Yeah. Fire damage and explodes on crits. And, and immunity to explosion. Immunity as well. yeah. yeah. So yeah, this sounds good. That's that squirrel we're probably saving for like a familiar or something, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you know, a holy water, a paladin's belt, a paladin's sword. Yes, it does work on assassinations, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad when all our weapons get turned into carrots. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I'm also lightning fast now as well. Yeah. Which is why I need those flying sandals. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. This sure looks like a room. Can I get out of this corner, please? <laughs> The chef got frozen by the uh, liches. <laughs> See, everything ah. got frozen by you. Look at these poor skeletons. They're I need to ruined. about this uh, ice lich. He's immune to my freezing effects. Mm -hmm. I'll use. I'll, quick, I'll use my fast scroll on him. Kaboom! No. You got it. <laughs> uh, oh, a cleaver! I'll definitely not do that. What did you get cured of, or was it just a generic sobriety? Kind of <laughs> <laughs> I can't get out the door. <laughs> Come on, you old sot. <laughs> <laughs> I can just traverse the room at will. Whoop. I think these guys should chill. <laughs> Come on, cool down. Anything up there I need to worry about? Uh, a load of banana skins. It does concern me a little. Right next to the edge of a pit. Mm. And I'm drunk. Let's, I'm gonna stay down here. Uh, I might, unless you want that health potion, I'll probably pick it up. Um, now I've got a health potion and a full health. That oh, a jumping potion. You could try that again. Don't drink your own. But every time I drink a jumping potion, I die before I get access to it. Can I try the altar? Sure. Oh, you're cursed as well. Yay! Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. But you didn't let me stand on the statue's head before you. <laughs> you can accrue wealth again. At last, I can get money. Of society. <laughs> and, uh,. But it does reduce my limitless supply of stones. That's true. I mean, I've got like 16 if you need any. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I've currently got 52, so I've got one one for every week of the year. 
So don't throw more than a stone a week, you gotta learn to ration these things. <laughs> I took an unnecessary hit there. Uh, Alright, we're gonna start sharing the gold again, I guess. Yeah, now I've gotta go over my instincts telling me not to touch the gold. <laughs> yeah, my instinct just to scoop it all up, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might have more than you because you bought, you paid for all those items. I did that true. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I need to test to stop that guy. Yes, that worked. Nice. I really hoped that was gonna work. Toxic elixir of life. I suppose I better come and get it. The axe of leech. Uh, I've got 176 gold, by the way. I don't know how much you've got. Uh, 140. So yeah, I'll scoop stuff up. Do you want the uh, magic book. walkers? Oh, I've you've got, already got, got it. this one. Oops. Oh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Stack those lives. Now you need a guardian angel. <laughs> Night oh, Axe of Leech. Nightcrawler's eyes. Uh, you, you've got. What quit? Did you have some quit stuff? I can't remember what you had now. Oh, yes, I've got the banana. I did oh, have yeah. the flame. Yeah, that's, those are yours then, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm really loving the icicle. I think one of us should come. Yeah, shall I get it? Yeah, if you like. It's gonna be sad to get rid of this really awesome sword, but I think it's just too practical. Yeah, I said that sword of pyromancy is brilliant, but the ability to regain your health, I think, is so, it's particularly in a run like this. Yeah. I mean, and general. I think the icicle... General roguelike principle: health is always good, always, always better. Any kind, any source of sustain or healing is just, just Oop. too good. Drop some bombs, by the way. You mute explosions, right? No, not anymore. No. Not anymore. <laughs> bombs. Let's see how it goes. You talk me out of uh, keeping my immunity to explosions, and then this happens. Then you turn on me. I was just waiting for my moment to strike. <laughs> End of level. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I think the icicles crowd control as well is just brilliant. Yeah. Oh no. Watch out, your crabs are gonna proc him if we're not careful. No, I, I thought we were due for this guy. But yeah, it's uh... my least favourite boss by an absolute mile. There is no boss I wouldn't rather face than this guy. Normally I'm not too bothered about him, but... Oh, well, though, I've just had a thought. Hmm? I mean, yeah, you can't get kicked off of there. And that means when the spikes come, I can just flee over here. That's true. I'm normally okay with the spikes, but right now I've got jumping disease, which might be a problem. How many more rooms before you cure it? Two. Can this guy be stopped, by the way? Don't know. They're not normally immune to status effects, so... Shall we do it? <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. <laughs> Doesn't look like he can be stunned. Yeah, I can just like genuinely just fight enemies over the pit without any worry. Oop. I'm gonna drop some bombs. Okay. Oop. Okay, there you go. Jumping disease. Okay, so we've got a. Watch out. Two things going on here. One. My jumping disease is going to destroy me because I can't time when he uh, does his attack. But two, the cheese is going to destroy him because you know he he's high up. He's not supposed to be easy to hit. But the cheese uh, doesn't have that problem. Oh, nice! I just need to stay close to him and wait for him to perish like he should. Oh, the. Uh... The little guy is 
didn't seem to do any damage and they struck me as they flew out, which is quite nice. Hmm. I don't know if my armor tanked it, I don't know if they count as projectiles. Maybe. Oh, it's a kill if I uh, throw him over the edge, by the way. I think nice. it should be any kill. Watch out, I'm dropping some bombs. But he's already dead. I didn't realize he was dead. He Typical. wasn't dead when I started my bombing run. Typical overkill. <laughs> yeah. Also, it looks like I exploded him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it looks like I was stealing all the glory there. Uh, do we still have the duplicator, by the way? Yes, before, I do. Before we pick anything. Yes. Slayer's heroic, heroic belt. belt. Nice. Cudgel, useless at this point. Juggler's wondrous triplicator. I'll take that if you don't want it. Yeah, sure. Sparkling orb. No better than Freedom Giver, I'm afraid. I love Sparkling Orb. I think he's probably better than Lion. No, is he better than Lion? I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say. I think as an assassin attempt intended to keep moving, the lightning rod's probably better because you can use it from a top post and such. I think the sparkling orb might do more to keep me alive when I'm attacked from behind, though. Yeah. Uh, Slayer's heroic belt, there's a health potion, a cudgel. A cudgel, there's no point in a cudgel. Mm -hmm. Lightning rod's not better than freedom giver, so... So it's just belt. Do you want the belt? Yeah. Has neither of us got a belt? Uh, I have not. Mm. You could duplicate it, but it's not an amazing item to duplicate. Nah, it feels like it'd be a waste. Yeah, I'll take it then. Let's head on. Do it. So essentially, we slime it, I just stayed out of the way. <laughs> yeah, stayed out of the way, let me do the work. <laughs> if I you were... my bombing run. I mean, you kind of did the exact same thing in the dragon fight as well. <laughs> hey, I poisoned all those dragons. <coughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. I am doomed for sure now. Every room ahead is locked with those hideous idols in the middle. I must use them to continue forward, but every time I touch them, a terrible curse falls down on my head, and more monsters attack me. I cannot continue much longer like this. Hmm. Alright. Oh boy. Curse floor. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, you go double jump. I say, actually, is it curse floor? It's not the true curse floor, is it? It's just the. Hmm. In the well, one where we just get... One where we just get curses, rather than yeah. having cursed idols. Mm. This is the thing, by the way, I don't, I'm sure you've noticed, but someone might not. The, uh... What's it? The eyes I've got. Yeah. The Nightcrawler's eyes get really yellow. Like they really open up like pupils do when you're in a dark room. <laughs> yeah. I love that effect. I know it's to show you that they're working, I guess, but I think it's just really cool. <laughs> Plus 20% critical hit chance, and I've got the bananas. Mm -hmm. Who wants to do it? <coughs> you know, there is, I've got any advantage or disadvantage. How shall I do it? If you want. Curse darkness. That's actually oh, that good works. for us. Yeah, it's, it's real good. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! I'm I'm wailing on frozen guys, I'm just spamming out crits left, right, and so. I need to kill somebody real quick. There we go. <laughs> oh no, I've fallen over with my own bananas! <laughs> Hoist on your own banana. Just as it is great sport to see the engineer hoist by his own batar. <laughs> Apparently that's a pawn as well, that, that modern audiences don't get. Yeah. Yeah, appa <laughs> apparently it sounds like uh, to break, uh, an old word meaning to break wind. Hmm. Alright. Raised by his own patern. <coughs> People forget that Shakespeare liked, you know, toilet humour and stuff like that. So I'm thinking... <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, there's kind of a minefield over here, which could lower him to. A powerful host of vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm thinking you should get this one, because I got the Curse of Darkness, which is a very mild one. So uh -huh. you have. It's not possible for me to get the Curse of Darkness again, it is possible for you to get the Curse of Darkness. So you've got a slightly better chance than me of getting a, a good curse rather than a bad one. Okay, if I. If I get crank, I'll curse you with my dying breath, you know. I understand. <laughs> Can I do it from up top? No. Come forth, fell creature! I got crank. I'll curse you with my dying breath. <laughs> that comes to it. Never do it yeah, I mean, the, the agreement was made. Hoist by my own patar. <laughs> Did you just die? Yeah, but I'm alive again. Yeah, I got greedy for attacks on one of the uh, the beholders. Actually, I got greedy for attacks on them a couple of times in a row. Lesson learned. No, don't do that. Right, I can't hang about. Oh yeah, of course. Oh. Ah. I'm gonna have to. Do yeah, it go again, ahead. I guess. And, yeah. Animate! Whoever's got the worst curses is better off uh, <laughs> activating the, the next one. It sounds unfair, but is the uh, the practical solution. Uh, killing furniture doesn't trigger the frozen effect. Alright, oop! Oh. oh crap. Okay, less than ideal. I uh, may have wasted the uh, freeze scroll I was while trying to throw a rock. You wasted the what, sir? The freeze the scroll. scroll. Uh, you've got the duplicate one, haven't you? Oh, the freeze scroll! Yeah, the freeze scroll. Uh, <laughs> I think you said the free scroll. I was like, what? <laughs> the free scroll. The scroll of Frosty. Alchemist Nightmare. Not ideal, we have no help. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. The, I'm fine. The frozen guy. Could be good in off. that. Uh, anything could potentially be a holy water, though. Any potion That's we don't want, you need to chug it and just hope for the best. Oh well, no, I'm dying. Let's just chug this potion and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I got go cursed treasures. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, it, oh, it's, it's the demonic mixture. Okay, so you now have demon strength? Uh, yes, I think so. But unfortunately, That's... cursed treasures as well. Yeah. I mean, it did heal me, which is the effect I want. But it didn't yeah, could be worse. Cursed, which would have been nice. Where's the end last enemy? Okay, I think we got them all. Can't stop. The furniture is attacking me. I've got tainted blood. I've got this. Oh, this, is, this is an awful combination. This is fire liches, not the other kind. Might be time for me to start taking some curses. Is that because I'm almost certainly going to die? I'm thinking more that you're mo almost certainly going to get the foot. You've crossed oh, out okay. most of... yeah. You've crossed out most of the list of curses. We've got we've to gotta ask whether you're more likely to get better or worse curses than me on average at this point. And with the foot still out there and you haven't gotten so many curses? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. Isn't there an award for having a load of curses? I don't know if I got that achievement yet. Uh, possibly. Where's that enemy? Yeah. I need to hit him because I'm losing health here. Alright, let's move on. So, what do you want me to do? I'll get this one then. Right. Tainted you blood. Pig blood. Oh, I've got the icicle itself because it's a cold weapon. It can just freeze enemies as you hit them, can't mm. it? Yeah. And when you kill stuff, you freeze loads of enemies. Ah, no, I've been. Oh, no, though, no, this is. I got frozen in place and then just fireballed feet. <laughs> Which, ironically enough, doesn't do anything. Oh, no. Mm. I'm about to die. Hang in there, champ. 
just there, there. I'm not doing great myself. Do just get out there and crank some people. Time to pay a crank call. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm about to die. I'm, can't stop falling over. Um, I can't get any worse than I am now, so I'll take those poison darts. Yeah. Despite my plethora of stones. <laughs> Yes, we can take his time in the next room. Oh, I can't, I've just picked up five health, let's go. <laughs> Never mind anime. Wait, who's who's doing the thing? Uh, me again. Darkness. Wait, I already had Did darkness. It. Did it wear off? Did I cure it, it somehow? Yeah. I thought you couldn't duplicate cursors. I mean, with how many you've got, you'd think you'd have gotten a duplicate one. If you can duplicate curses, then it should be, uh, <laughs> definitely should be you taking all of them, but... Oh, I can now never open a treasure chest, by the way. A demon familiar seems to be following me. Oh, I got that from the demonic mixture, I guess. Ah, okay. It's good for me to wail on frozen enemies, it restores my... This crank <laughs> could uh, sink this room. Yeah, I mean, that's the nature of this floor, though. Quickening, chug it. I can't, I keep picking up the wrong thing. This is the way I shouldn't have stopped with those poison darts. These guys spawn even if it's me that opens them. Oh, good to know. Oh, man. Sorry. A uh, mystery potion, I might as well drink it. Mm hmm. Uh, I'll grab the familiar, I guess. Vitality up, curse darkness. Can work with that. Uh, you want the potion? Uh, yes, please, but it's no use to me. Oh, because it turns into something else. Chug it then. Might, oh. be, a ho might be a holy water. <laughs> <laughs> you got three deaths. Oh, it's death total. I thought when you got three deaths on that floor. <laughs> yeah, I'll drink it on the off chance. Watch out. Can you defend me from the furniture? Uh, oh. It was a health potion. Oh, okay. Uh, what is the sorcery motion to have on my hands and now use around other fallen enemies? Can I drink the bodybuilder's mad use? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm cured of something. Worse. Presumably just diseases. Rabbit floor, there goes our health drain. <laughs> or mine, anyway. Yeah, there goes my icicle and all the freezing powers and everything. Mm. Um. In an interesting news, I'm fairly sure that guy's uh, arrow just went over my head. Nice. Nope. This is all getting frantically paced and I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Oh wait, that's not your eye, laser. Watch out, I'm dropping bombs. Dang it. I missed an execute because I was slipping on bananas. Actually, this is not terrible for me. As much as I hate these demon skulls. Yeah, crank them. Yep, I'm getting cranked. Please don't slip on that banana. Please don't slip on that banana. I'm slipping on the bananas. <laughs> right, is it the potion anybody want, doesn't want? Nah, cross on. Uh, watch out! Oh, yeah, I'm immune to this stuff. There's a chest over here. Keep coming. Um, 
Yeah, the holders can fly. Good to know. Um, I'm right stuck on something. Got wedged on I on a bump in the floor. I'm not entirely sure. No, no. Did you? Oh, you opened a chest. That yeah. Died. Hmm? That's when he died. No. But I'd open it while you were cranking. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try and not let go off. He's dead, and his head fell down the hole. Nice. He doesn't have to worry about me anymore. There's a lot of gold. Yeah, there's a, an don't antidote. Need to immune to, oh, you've got immunity to poison anyway. I that could have been used. Oh, I've got alchemist nightmare. I hadn't totally chucked that. And an ass potion. I've chucked that too when I'm alive. I hope that one of them is a holy water. I'm gonna go in the next room and see what trouble I can stir up. Yeah, seems um, fair. I've summoned all the furniture and it's an arcane orb. Okay. Uh, what have we got in here? Uh, many enemies. I can I leave both those potions for you to chug? Thank you. So there's nothing I can knock these enemies anyway. It's real bad. It's one of those horned demons. And a load of furniture. Mm. Two horned demons and furniture. He's all that's in this room. Alright, and there's uh, no pets or anything? No, I'm afraid not. I can just kind of stand in the middle and let the force orb do it, but it's not going to kill them all on its own. Yeah, I guess I get in there and mix it up. Does furniture count as so <laughs> Does furniture have soul? Uh huh. I think no, only you can answer that question. <laughs> Assuming uh, you've not already got through it. An antidote did exactly what it was supposed to do. Uh. Uh, I've. I don't know, I just got hurt somehow. <laughs> okay. Did oh man, just... it was what's it, schnapps. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no, he didn't. He gave me an extra life and poisoned me for 99 rooms. Ah. Uh, that's probably fine. Uh, there's Could be firecracker worse. boots over here. Well, I'm not going to be using them. Okay, Dropping bombs, I don't know where, who's where. I'm in the far right of the room. I've not left the door. Look, th uh, there's death avoided, I'm on my way out. There's spikes everywhere and uh, I can't look left, so you know. Like in most runs, I'd be thrilled to have the firecracker boots, but <laughs> they're not better than the sand. I'm, uh, I've got another life, though, so I will return. Cool. Oop. Oh, wait, what? What hit me there? The guy was dead. Yeah, I'll drink the murky water. They gauged me. Oh, he just just did exactly what he was supposed to and gave me ass disease. Have you got? Are you sure you've got the one that randomizes potions? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because the other one was random. I just mistakenly thought it was the correct one. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Can I look at this? Oh, dang it. I mean, I've got the protector's plate, so if we can do it quickly enough. Yeah, I've got immunity to fire. I don't think it's actually damaging me, it's just. Uh, Doing it fast enough because it interrupts. Yeah. There we go. Are any of them a drink that nobody wants? Bodybuilder's juice. 
I'm dropping some lightning, by the way. I'm dropping banana skins, apparently. Is there... Is there more stuff up there? Hey, yeah. All right. I got another ass disease. Oof, this is a... Oh, a... I got swatted by a chicken man. Sure the carrot looks ridiculous in your giant hands. Oof! Ouch. That guy... That guy really hit me. I, I wasn't that low on health. Wow. Yeah. That was a thing that happened. Have, have we ever done the carrot floor? Uh. Yeah. What comes after? I, I can't think of what comes after. I. We have the. We've done the disease floor, the curse floor, the rabbit floor. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if we got fit. I feel like last time we just managed it and then died, but I'm not, that could be an utter lie. Did we get to the boss that was after it? Was there a boss immediately after it? Uh, yes. I mean, I guess anyone wanting to find out could always check on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the boss that, uh, the one with the pit in the middle, the one that splits into... Uh, Legion. Yeah. Yeah, I think Legion's after the carrot floor. I think I remember that. I don't think we got past him. But yeah, I think the carrot floor usually gets us because it's... <laughs> not because of the carrot, but because of the curses. Yeah, it's... The curses are what did me in there. Yeah. Once you get crank, it's... Uh, for me, crank can be a run ender. Hmm. No, absolutely. Pro probably the worst curse. I mean, Mighty Foot is on the list, but... Yeah, at least you can weaponize Mighty Foot. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> yeah. It was going so well. We had a really good run going. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> ah, well. Mm-hmm. It's a bit late to be starting another one of this. Do you want to play a game of League of Legends? Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a very quick break, so I'll pop you guys in the back in 5 scene and we'll be back soon.